1 Corinthians chapter 6 glory to God verse number let's say verse number 11 amen that's 1 Corinthians 6 chapter verse 11 and such were some of you but ye are washed but ye are sanctified but ye are justified in the name of the Lord Jesus and by the Spirit of God don't forget where you came from what don't forget where you came from and the reason why I'm saying this to you that's listening to me my friend you might can't see me but you can hear me because I don't want to be seen I want you to hear I become a mailman today to tell you don't forget where you came from and the reason why glory to God Paul have to remind the people and such were some of you so don't forget where you came from. You once was a sinner, but God saved you. Yes, you once was in darkness, but now you're in a marvelous light. Don't forget where you came from. I, I, I never put myself on a pedestal, my friend, because God been too good to me. When you start forgetting who you are, you have ego. I want ego. Ego is exiting God out. I want God to be my life. And how God stay in your life? God stay in your life by you being humble. Humility make you stay in the, in, in, in the grace and favor of God. But don't forget where you came from. Paul was reminding the people, glory to God, he say in verse number 9, he say, Know he not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God. He said, Be not deceived, neither fornicator, those that are having sex and not be married. Yes, those that are having fornication are people that, that are sexual and they're not married, but you're having sex idolater of people that worship in idols you worship in idols of your mind or adulterer these people are looking and lusting at the people or you married and your husband your spouse your wife is still living and you decided to get another spouse you was an adulterer and a feminine these people that are a woman you act like a man you are a man you act like a woman you are effeminate no abuser of themselves with mankind. These are homosexual. These are transgenders. And the Bible go down and say, verse eleven: No thieves, people stealing stuff. If you if you borrow somebody's stuff, give it back. Or covetous, people that lusting after things. No drunker, you get drunk. You are drunk. You drink. You drink your sachet. You drink your Budweiser. You drink your Johnny Walker. You drunk on Friday and Saturday you party and you go to church on Sunday. Or revile. These are the cussers. No extortioner. These are people extorting people. And Paul say, shall inherit, shall inherit the kingdom of God. All these people that I mentioned in verse number 9 and 10, you will not inherit the kingdom of God, but his hope of redemption plan for you. And the Bible say, and such was some of you, but you are washed. What can wash away my sin? Nothing but the blood and the name of Jesus Christ. And the Bible say, and sanctify. Sanctification is separation. Hallelujah, but justify God make you just. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and by the Spirit. Don't forget about the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit will make us don't forget. So Paul was reminding the saint of God, don't forget where you came from. And don't forget where you are going. I'm going to heaven. I'm not going to hell. I'm telling people, don't forget where you came from. And I'm going to tell you, when you forget where you came from, you start judging people and condemning people. We judge people because we want people to be saved. We don't judge people to make people feel bad and go back and stay in the world. We judge people because we love people. Now the Bible says, he that is spiritual judge all things and judge by no man. The Bible says, don't judge according to appearance, but judge righteous judgment. So Paul was telling Corinthian church, and such were some of you, but you are washed. Don't forget where you came from. I'm a sinner saved by grace. That's who I am. 
And if you start forgetting, you start smelling yourself of saying you are, you are superior, you ain't nothing but dust. Dust thou art, and dust shalt thou return. So Paul was saying, such were some of us. My friend, don't forget where God brought you from. God had brought you from darkness. God had brought you from dust. And thus you are, and thus shalt thou return. But God was saying, God told Paul to tell the Corinthian all these things in verse number 9 and 10. If you continue these things, you ain't going to heaven. But God can wash you. God can sanctify you. And God can justify you. And God will give you the Holy Spirit. So you won't forget where God brought you from. Don't forget where God brought you from. God brought you to become a sinner. Now you're saved. Now you're a saint of God. Not because of you, but because God's grace and mercy bestowed upon you. So don't forget.